When we look at the printer, we do want it to be as sexy as a Lamborghini. We started as four co-founders and we did all kinds of projects. You know, we even started our own line of snowboards with high-end materials. It didn't take too long for us to understand that we have the access to the right people in order to do something disruptive that could really make a difference. What we do is offering electronics engineers a solution of a printer and nano inks that allow them to print in-house multi-layer PCBs, which are printed circuit boards. It's the heart of every electronic device. The time that it takes to prototype such a PCB can take weeks. With our 3D printer, engineers can print within hours in-house in a confidential way without sending out their design files out to a factory. The Dragonfly 2020 is based on inkjet technology. There are other 3D printers using inkjet technology. In our case, the differentiation comes with the materials. We have the conductive ink, which is based on nano silver. In the future, what we're hoping to gain is nano copper ink, which is going to change the way production of PCB is made. We chose to go with a reverse merge versus IPO because of first we needed to go fast and we were able to get that first money from private investors who supported the reverse merge. From there and on it was up to us to meet the milestones and raise more money. The Apple's process to the Nasdaq does not involve an IPO. We have enough money right now and we're just taking that step because it's the right thing for the company.